Rayco Home Automation. We have been working with the brand Rayco for around about eight years here at Able Electrics. It's a fantastic user-friendly product and it goes on countless light designs that we work on. In fact, I'd probably say nine out of 10 customers who come in for a full house light design end up taking a Rayco system. Why? Because it's so user-friendly, reliable, and it really does add value to the design. So it's very easy for a lighting design now to get north of 10 lighting circuits especially in an open plan kitchen lounge diner. When I say a circuit, that would be a section of lights. So your pendants over a kitchen island, that would be a circuit. Your down lights in a kitchen, that would be a circuit. LED tape, that would be a circuit. Outdoor lights, wall lights, lamps, these are all circuits. You don't just want to bring them all on together. That would not be a very good design. You want to be able to bring them on in layers. You want to be able to enjoy different parts of the room for different reasons. This is why Reiko is so is, is, is so valuable on a design because the way it works and the way it clicks into place and allows you to control all your new lighting circuits is brilliant. This is their original 10 seam control, probably one of the best sellers. That is their new modular system, came out this year. Comes in a selection of colors. This is a bit more modern. You can get them all engraved. So they sit on a nice, neat, single back box. When you go for conventional light switches, you need one switch per circuit. So as soon as you get to four gang like this, you kind of run out, you end up having to put in a double or even a triple height plate on the wall. As soon as you want to try and control your lights from more than one position, which is obvious you're going to want to do that if you've got a big open plan kitchen lounge diner, you're not going to have to walk back to the door to control your lights every time. A conventional light switch requires a lot of cable and you can't dim it from two places. Rayco, you don't suffer from any of these problems. So if I talk you through this section quickly in our, in our showroom, I'll give you an understanding of how easily lighting circuits can add up. This is quite a small bathroom section. Uh, it's quite close in design and size to a lot of the en suites that I work on. So a lot of people have these beautiful freestanding feature baths. These are little LED walkover lights sat around the bath, right? This is what you'd be, if you're sat in the bath, this is what you have on, this is what you'd be sat in your bath relaxing with, right? Rather than putting candles on the floor, this is a more modern approach. Then we've got this inset shelf. You can see two lights in there. That's another circuit. So we're up to two already. In the wall here, there's a profile. A lot of people now will tile and then paint the wall up to it. So they put nice feature tiles up. This profile sits just behind the tile, lips in, and there's an LED tape in here. That's three circuits. We've got these beautiful, modern, decadent wall lights with these nice warm white lamps in. That's another lighting circuit. We've got a crystal chandelier. And this isn't for everybody, but one of these over a bath, especially a more traditional Victorian style roll top bath with a claw feet on it, would look stunning. We've got baffled downlighters in the wall. We've hidden an LED tape around the perimeter of this mirror to create an eclipse effect. So it's sat behind the lip of the glass, so you don't see it from the front, only you get a silhouette of light coming around the side. Another lighting circuit. We've got these low level night lights. And these are bunched together quite closely. You would never have this many this close, but these are obviously for display in the showroom. Normally you put one by the sink and one by the toilet for night time use. We've then got all of our main lights. So all of the wall lights here, all of the ceiling lights, all of the shaver lights. So you can see that's gonna require quite a lot of light switches to control all of this. Not with the Rayco system. Each one of those circuits has a receiver. Now we've positioned these under the vanity unit. You could hide them anywhere you wanted to. Most electricians, when they're fitting Rayco, would put these under the DB, under the fuse box. So if that was in the garage or under the stairs, that's where these would live. You'll see, we have one power in. That loops one to tether, to tether, to tether. That is a permanent live feed. So when the distribution board is on, all of these have received power. It then feeds the lighting circuit. So cable in, cable out, feed to the circuit, feed to the circuit, feed to the circuit, okay? So that one will be going to the tape, that one will be going to the mirror, that one will be going to the floor lights, the spotlights, the chandelier, etc. All right? There's different receivers for different types of light. We have an RMS here, that's a switch module. An RMT is a dimmable module. Then you get LED modules. You can even control color changing LED tape with this. And blinds. These are sat there waiting for a signal from this RF battery wall control. When you hit these buttons, it sends a signal out to those boxes to come on, turn off or dim. So I'm just going to go through this quickly. I'm going to show you that again so you can see how we've had them engraved. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scenes, right? These aren't light switches, these are scenes, okay? So you program them 
to come on or turn off in a set way. And I'll explain and show that to you now. So the first button says full. So when I hit that, that sends a command out because we've programmed it to, to every single one of those blue boxes down here, the receivers. Every single one has just got a signal to come on at 100%. So you can see every single light in this section has now come on. Now we get into the more creative scenes, okay? So I'm going to start showing you in order, pendant. You see, just the pendant comes on now. You also can dim it, providing you buy a good quality branded LED dimmer. Rayco will work with it. They have gone all out making sure that they get seamless, smooth dimming. That's another question I get asked a lot in the showroom. Next, bath. These are just the little project LED up lights around the bath that come on. Then we have mirror. I've also commissioned that to send a signal to the vertical LED tape that runs in that profile that I told you about behind the tile. So you get the whole group come on together as one. Then we have relax, just the wall lights. Really nice, simple, warm white wall lights. Again, you can dim them if you want to. Then we have wall wash. These are just the spotlights, baffled LED spots, 100 mil off the wall, you get that lovely curve of light. These are popular over his and her sinks or in walk-in showers or anywhere you just want to get a little bit of drama on the lighting design. Then we have night mode. This would be if you walk into your bathroom at night time and you just want to bring on some low level lights by the toilet and by the sink so you can just go to the toilet, wash your hands and go back to bed. You can see how easy it is and how neat and efficient this unit is. This is a white one, it comes in multiple finishes and you can have them engraved anything you want. If you don't want to have them engraved, they're just numbered one to seven. You've got the dimmer and then you've got all off. So no matter what scene you've left it in, for house guests, anyone, it's just an easy way to just turn your entire circuit off at the end of the night. You just hit one button, bang. So yeah, I hope you can see in this video just how easy this system is to use and to live with and how it would add that extra value to your lighting design. I welcome you to come and see me anytime or one of my staff at our new showroom, which is at 33 Zetland Road, Bristol, bs 6 7 ah So you can see we've gone all out with the Rayco display. We've put in some beautiful lights down here. You can book in a consultation for a one-to-one -one with myself or my other lighting designer, Andrew. Uh, we will sit down with you at that kitchen island and we will go over your plans room by room and we will help you develop the perfect lighting design. We're also on hand to have a more technical conversation with your electrician should they require a conversation with us about Rayco or the design or any aspect of the job. So we're very heavily customer orientated. The service side of our business is massive. You know, we understand lighting is just a bit more than clicking and buying it on our website. You know, people want to, they really want to get the best out of their lighting. Um, and that's what we're here to do. But it is our opinion that the lighting design will get you so far. The home automation and control of the lighting has to be considered if you're going to get that 10 out of 10.